we're coming up to Connolly Station, which is where the Dublin Belfast train leaves from. And any time I've got that train over the years, I've been intrigued by a particular harbour that you pass along the way. And the harbour is in a place called Balbriggan. So one day I got off and had a look at the harbour. And it was worth a look and it was interesting. But at the harbour I met a man who really surprised me. This is the view of Balbriggan Harbour you get from the Dublin Belfast train. Up closer you get the usual and the unusual. The usual trawlers and unusual public art. And then your eye is caught by this boat. Definitely not a fishing boat or a pleasure boat. The boat is 106 feet, about 100 tonnes displacement. Was a British Navy minesweeper built in the 1950s to counteract the threat from Russia. It's my home, and I hope it will be for the rest of my life. I was actually born in Bombay. Came back here when I was 10 months old. I grew up on a barge on the Shannon. The most important thing about a boat is freedom and being close to nature and you can't get much closer than being on water. I was an electronics engineer by profession, general engineer by nature. Married for almost 25 years, uh, eventually gave up on the marriage and decided I wasn't going back to renting. I couldn't afford to buy a house, so I decided to go back to living on boats. It's a little bit disconcerting if you're not used to it. Just leaning over quite a bit. You don't throw stuff out and say, do you? Uh, you'd be surprised how much here is actually useful. I design things, I make things, I fix things. Uh, and that has its downside in that I, if I see something that needs fixing, I really need to go and fix it. <laughs> I have only had it out once since I arrived here five years ago. Partly because there's just, I've got so much clutter on the deck as well as down below. Uh, also the expense. And also the last time when I, came, when I went out, I found I had a couple of oil leaks. Came back in and the county council were sitting on the quay and demanded that I turn around and leave again. Shane says that by living here, he's actually providing a 24-hour security presence for the harbour. It's an ongoing project. Uh, working on a boat this size probably was, was a, a rash decision buying it in the first place because there's just so much to do. Uh, people ask me how long is it going to take to finish. Uh, I say, do you believe in reincarnation? And have you got a job? No. I'm living on disability. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, depression, fatigue. Uh, I work when I can. Uh, if I do more than two, maybe sometimes three hours work, I start getting dizzy spells and that is not good on a boat. No, so you can't sail it then, can you? Uh, I can't sail it at the moment. I'm not nearly as bad as I was two years ago from that respect. I'm gradually gathering my energy. Uh, I do want to rig the boat with sail, as I said earlier, uh, so that I can do some long distance voyaging. Portugal, Mediterranean, Indian Ocean. I'd love to end my days back in India, which is where I started my life. And do you love it? Uh, there's times when I could do with just being able to relax and not feel, oh, I should be doing this or I should be doing that. Uh, but most of the time I wouldn't give it up for, for the world.
decent man and I really appreciate him letting me have a look around. That was a visit to Balbriggan Harbour, County Dublin. See you again next time. Thanks.